Guys, uh, this season is off to hell of a start. <laughs> I guess let me start with both of you. I, I'm going to start with you, Rowan. How have your how do you feel about how your character has kind of grown within this? You've done like this. We're going into the third season here, and a lot is changing. What what's been the most exciting thing for you personally? Um. Yeah. I guess it's been really fun for me to to have Alex grow up a little bit and also like in season three we're starting kind of I'm with obviously all the pirates I'm with all the adults which is really nice um because Alex is kind of breaking out of her shell and is getting more comfortable in her voice so I feel like yeah I don't know for me one of the my favorite things about this season was getting to work more closely with Mickey and Ido and David and Allison and all of those lovely amazing people um yeah so I don't know I it's definitely, there's definitely a lot of uh, growth and changes for Alex from season two. For sure. For, and Mickey, I, I just, I feel like you were such such the action hero of the show. Thank you. How, how has this been, how have you, has the experience of growing in this character and finding the strength that she's just kicks ass with? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the sort of beginning of Till's journey in season one sort of as the the sheep of, a, you know, as a brakeman and in the uniform and sort of tough, but sort of realizing she's not sort of serving the right cause. Uh, and then sort of breaking free as a revolutionary and then sort of joining and becoming a detective. And um, I think, though, in season three, we might see sort of a softer side to Till, which was also really lovely to sort of put down um, some of the weapons <laughs> <laughs> and maybe uh, figure out some uh, sort of more heart related issues. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I think what's interesting about the show, it's like the thought of basically all this action, all this drama, three seasons on a train, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> how, I mean, how much impact do you guys have on the writers or when they speak to you about where they're going with a, with each season when you grow up? Let's start, go back to you, Rowan. Um, well, it was important to me to, I don't know, like I said before, it felt really important that there was a distinction in how long Alex has been on Snowpiercer now and yeah. how that's affected her. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to see the ways that she's, she's grown because she's obviously so young and is definitely younger than her companions, but um, she's, I, yeah, I, I just, I was really interested in, um, like I said, what kind of conversations Alex would be happening would, would be having with the these characters because in season two I didn't really uh, work that closely with any of them and my character didn't interact too closely with with any of them so it was just fun kind of exploring that with the writers. That's cool. Uh, what about you, Megan? Do you feel that you've kind of had a voice in where your character has gone? Yeah, I mean, I think the 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 great thing about television and doing multiple series is that the writers really learn you and, you know, they, they, they sort of, there's a collaboration and, um, and a, a real like mutual respect. And there are like times where there's like a back and forth and sort of conversations about ideas. And um, I have to say there was like a lot of openness to sort of ideas and um, about, you know, till and, where she might go. And um, I love, I love that. I just, I, I'm really grateful to the writer's room for being so generous. Uh, well, you guys both rock. We got to wrap it up, but thank you both for talking to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Citizens of Snowpiercer, for the first time since the world ended, a brighter future awaits beyond the train. Well, I hear my train is on the There are places on the earth that are warming. You will have a say in our destination. And your choice will determine our future. Hope is a slogan, an empty promise. There's only one way, the way I do things. Get back with Wilford. Wait for that train. And dig a grave with Leighton. Wait, there's options? Melanie sacrificing. Gave us a map. We find new weed and then we go back for the others. Who the hell is that? My name is Asha. I am 
a survivor. I still don't get how it's possible to survive eight years out there. There's still hope. It's time to go get our train back. Wilford hates surprises. Let's go give him one. <laughs> Battle stations! Eight of you against the great Mr. Wilford. I'm calling on you to settle this with honor. We'll finish this where we started. Five, four, three, two. We keep everyone as alive as possible. Minus an arm or two. Another day, another near-death experience, right?